three blissful months and a couple of days. So. Well, finally, uh, Eddie takes the boat back to Bombay. He's got to sort some stuff out with American Express. In the office, he meets uh, a guy named Dave, who he knew from Kabul. American Dave uh, is living in uh, what they call the Bombay Freak House on Juhu Beach, north of proper Bombay, right on the Raven Sea coast. Yeah. Uh, well, Dave explains to Eddie, you know, we've got 15, 20 very hip, like, <laughs> overland from Istanbul travelers at our place. And uh, why don't you come in and, and hang out with us at the Bombay Freak House? Well, uh, Eddie hesitates to hang out with hippies. Hmm. But he accepts the invitation. Yeah. Bombay freaks an unknown uh, environment and context, uh, even for a seasoned hipster from California. This is Eddie's virgin cohabitation with hippies in India. Oh, look, he's, a, he's t at least twice as old as anybody else there. <laughs> Eddie. Well, going with the flow uh, in the freak house, uh, Eddie, uh, he becomes fascinated by the creative lyrics of Bob Dylan. He's hippies. he got little Sony tape recorders with cassettes and what? Uh, in the Beatles, yeah, rare portable tape recorder, yeah. Mm -hmm. He smokes a joint and inhales pensively. Uh, Not as bad as I thought. <coughs> it would be. Uh, well, with sensitivity, Mary Auburn plays her guitar and uh, sings a languid love ballad. Uh, she's stoned. Naked heavy chick uh, walks into the main room holding a lit camp candle knob. A whiter shade of pale. Oh, yeah. Well, then Camila? Sounds a little familiar. Yeah, oh, friend from Copenhagen uh, dramatically shows up at the beach house and she introduces herself strangely by flipping out. Uh, she's screaming. Uh, well, the house residents ponder uh, shipping Camilo off in the care of the Danish embassy. Better get her back home. But Eddie, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Eddie uh, recommends a more compassionate approach. <clears throat> Look, let's let Camila act out as long as she doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, well, Eddie takes flack from the other uh, housemates as he attempts to bring Camila back down to earth. <laughs> he recalls them thinking, oh yeah, Eddie, uh, we thought he was a cool guy. Look at him. Trying to make it with that flipped out Camila. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, his full-time closeness, uh, they're inseparable now, Camila and Eddie's. You know, a passionate father she needs. Uh, he feels like he's tripping on acid the whole time. Just as a contact high off Camila's energy. Uh, and he, he falls asleep feeling high. And he wakes up feeling high. Causes him to wonder... Uh, Am I still even getting high from smoking ganja and hashish? So he stopped smoking for three days. <laughs>